Okay, since we last spoke, which was about an hour and a half ago, I have managed to break three important things. The first thing to break on me, well, I was halfway through mowing the yard when this happened. Uh, my John Deere. It just quit. Wouldn't start, wouldn't do nothing. So, I took off the, let's see here, no, I put a new battery in it. See, brand new battery. I took off the fuel pump cleaned it out, cleaned the lines, cleaned the fuel uh, filter, put brand new fuel in the tractor. So anyway, I started it up, a big puff of smoke popped, and then it just went BOOM! And it won't turn over, it won't do nothing, it's it's locked up. So I think of, uh, I think a rod blew in it, which that just, great, awesome. So, that was that. So then I was like, all right, well, I need to finish weed whacking. So I weed whacked the place. And then after I weed whacked it, you know, see how clean it is? See? How it's nice and, like, blown off and stuff. So anyway, I'm using my blower. And I guess there's a pin or something underneath. A loose area. Please leave. And the pin fell out and my blower fell apart. So now I get to fix that. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Let me tell you what happened next. My air compressor was over here running. It just... Pow! That's it. That thing's probably older than me. I'm 33. That thing's probably older than me. It's probably 40-something years old. And, well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the screws out of it and I'm going to pull the screws out of it and we're going to see what kind of damage was done to it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I have all of these laptops lined up. I believe there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So anyway, I have five different manufacturers, five different laptops. Alright? And they're from different eras, different points of time. You have like really early to newer to new -ish. Um, and then you have like the in-between models and stuff. But anyway, Targus, all right, they make a universal laptop charger. And I want to see if it will work. I mean, what better way to test it than to test it on all these different laptops? Also, I would like to see what the situation is with these laptops. Will they take a charge? Will they power on? Are the screens damaged? Will anything take place? Will they catch fire? I don't know, but I do have the, let's see here, over there, see it? I do have the fire extinguisher right there, boom, ready to go. All right, so the kit, the kit only costs like 10 bucks, and I got it at a store called Ollie's, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I was really surprised to find it there. So let's open the kit here. Let's see what it is. What's in it? Um, no, let's see here. What's this? Correct laptop connection method. Attach the tip to the end of the outlet. Oh, I bet it had. Okay, well that. Uh, yeah, that's just information. So that answered the question. I was like, well, how does one tip? fit a whole bunch of different laptops like how, how does like how does that work now there is something though that I need to state real quick before we get into this this laptops are different wattage okay this will only charge I think anything over 16 watts so if your laptop is under 16 watts it will not take it. Um, all laptops, their their chargers have a specific wattage that they deal in, um, that the laptop takes. Ah, okay. So here we go. 
We got us some heads. We got some kind of goofy one. A couple little tips. Looks like a lot of little tips. One, two, three, four, five. You get five of them. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you get five. So five different laptops that this can potentially be. And then all their models that they would fit. So, okay, so it comes with tips. That's cool. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. Jeez, this feels like quality. Are you serious? Wow, this thing is nice and heavy. And it has a good feel. Like, like it doesn't feel cheap at all. I mean, I feel like I would probably pay 50 or 60 bucks for something like this. Not $8. Wow, uh, let's see here, what's this? This must be the end that takes all the tips, yep. And where's the other cord at? Is there another cord in there? Okay, yeah, woo, about to say. All right, so that's the power cord to this. All right, so I guess really what we need to do is look at the business end of all these tips. All right, um, now I have no idea what will fit these laptops so I guess what I'll do is I'll plug it in and then I'll try to figure out what tip fits what and then we'll we'll go from there I guess make sure to smash that like comment subscribe all that good stuff always making videos always this universal laptop charger says it's for Acer Asus HP Lenovo Samsung and more and then I was looking here that if the do not have the right tip for your laptop, then you can contact them and they will send you a free tip for your laptop, which is really cool. That's really cool that they, that they offer that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Excellent. So I just tried out my first laptop. Unfortunately, I do not have this the kit does not fit that although i think i may have something elsewhere that might power that but as of right now um this kit does not fit so the acer is out of the running let's look into the dell all right so which one is this this is the dell okay um see that connector that's down inside there it's a very unusual connector, um, but also, unfortunately, this kit doesn't work for this one. So, that's two down that the kit does not work for. Let's look at this one, the Toshiba. Wow, so this turns out that this is going to be a quick video, I guess. Um, here's the Toshiba, and that's way different looking that has like a probe in it or something um which one is this this is the hewlett packer the hp and see it's way different than all the other ones it just has like a flat spot in it and then if you come to the last one which is the older toshiba model that's the power port for it so this universal laptop charger um yeah i just picked i just got five random laptops from they're all different manufacturers you know there's three or four different manufacturers here and then on top of that these are different brands from all different years they're not like ancient they're still you know in the last 10 years so i would think that this would fit some of this but it doesn't fit any of them so i have a box actually let's see here where is our box i have a box of laptop chargers Alert area. i'm filming why don't you leave damn camera always telling me to leave out of my own garage Let's see here. Uh, these are some older PCs down here and stuff. Um, these are projects that I haven't gotten around to doing anything. That one right there. Um, I was thinking about building a sleeper out of that one. Um, but I haven't got around to that. No, I'm filming. So anyway, 
I think that laptop charger might be in one of these boxes. So I'm going to dig around for him and see if I can't find it. And hopefully we can try to get one of these laptops to come on. I was really hoping that that would work, but it doesn't. Damn. All right. Um, I'll pick back up with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, since we last spoke, which was about an hour and a half ago, I have managed to break three important things. The first thing to break on me, well, I was halfway through mowing the yard when this happened. Uh, my John Deere. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's broke. Damn. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, you can see. I know it's kind of dark, but you can see the rod right there. Where's it at? There it goes. Look, see, you can see the rod hanging out of the top of the piston. And it looked like, I don't know, there was some kind of failure. And it hit there. But, yeah. So much for this. It's garbage now. Dang. So yeah, that's the kind of day I have been having. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Maybe I should go back in and just sit on the couch and play video games for the rest of the day. Because I've already broken three things. Two, well one of them is definitely not fixable. Uh, the other one, well, shoot. I ain't got no choice but to fix that. That tractor was a few thousand dollars. And luckily this thing just requires... Well, a screwdriver and a bolt, so, yeah, thought I'd show you guys this. I do have a bit of good news, though. Something has arrived, and I thought we would take a quick gander at it. So these are 45 degree extensions, and these are going to be very vital. Uh, because we actually need a slight offset. The other 45 degree ones that you saw were a lot shorter than these. So it was very vital that I got something a tad bit longer. And, well, that's uh, $22 right there. So it was like 11 bucks a piece. But you need good stuff. But anyway, alright, I guess I'll go in and do what I need to do. If this laptop comes back on, then there'll be more to this video. But if you guys don't hear nothing more about it, then the laptop didn't come on. And that's a shame. So, alright, I'm going to kick it back inside. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Sorry that this video sucked. But it is what it is.